Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, AI engineers role, I hope everybody has heard about it in the data analytics industry. It's not like AI engineer role is something new. From past six to seven years, uh, this role is there. Uh, and it is one of the most amazing role probably to have a job in the data analytics industry. Other than this, I hope you have heard about roles like data scientists, data engineers, uh, data analysts, machine learning engineers and all. So in this video, uh, what I am actually going to do is that to make you understand what does AI engineer specifically do. And this will probably come from my experience also. So in my last company that was uh, Panasonic, right? In my previous company over there, I was given a role of data scientist, but I used to do the task of AI engineers. So specifically in most of the startups and most of the companies, this kind of roles will overlap a lot. Sometimes you have to work as a machine learning engineer. Sometimes you really need to work uh, or have the roles and responsibilities of a data scientist. Sometimes even I've also worked as a data analyst in some of the projects. So a lot of overlapping will be there. But if I talk about companies uh, which is research oriented, product building oriented, there you'll find this kind of roles very much specific, you know, like data analyst, data scientist, machine learning engineer, AI engineers. Again, my main aim for this particular video of these videos, like this series of videos, I'm planning three videos on this. First is that we'll try to understand what does an AI engineer actually do, okay? And that will come from my overall experience that I've actually worked in. Um, as I said, uh, it's not like in my, just in my previous company, even I was working in Honeywell, there also I worked as an AI engineer. Yes, the role was given as a data scientist, but most of the task was a collaborative task. So I'll make you understand what does an AI engineer do. Probably in the upcoming videos, the next thing is obviously to create a roadmap for you with completely free videos, materials, projects, everything, right? That will be my second video that will be coming with respect to AI engineers. And the third video that I'm actually going to do is about resume discussions, right? Resume discussion of an AI engineer. So this three videos will probably make you understand the entire ecosystem, like how an AI engineers work. It's not like this is my first video of AI engineers. Already I made this video earlier, but many people were requesting in the comment section of my videos to explain about AI engineers. Now, to make you understand about AI engineers, first of all, we'll go in a systematic fashion, okay? First of all, we'll try to see some super cool JD, that is job description that is given by companies with respect to AI engineers. And then um, we will also see with respect to each and every job description, how does it matter, you know, how it is different from a machine learning engineer or a data scientist. And then I will also give you some examples of the projects that I have personally done, okay, to make you understand what kind of task an AI engineer will do. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end uh, and we'll keep the like target to 1000 so that I make the next series of videos that is with respect to roadmap. And uh, one more thing that I really want to discuss is about resume, okay? So let's go ahead and share my screen. So first thing over here in the LinkedIn, I am searching for AI engineers. And here you can see senior AI ML engineers, machine manager, software engineering, machine learning, okay? Now you will be seeing this kind of roles will be there. AI or ML engineers, you'll also be seeing this kind of role. AI engineer, machine learning engineer, gen AI developer, principal AI ML, right? Staff, software engineer, machine learning, AI engineers, machine learning engineer, machine learning engineer, artificial engineer, artificial intelligence engineer. I've just searched for AI engineers over here. So mostly that you will be able to see over here, jobs are like machine learning engineer or AI engineer, right? Senior machine learning engineer, AI ML engineer, senior machine learning engineer and all, okay? So we will be discussing about this and in some of the job roles, you'll also be see, able to see generative AI since generative AI is becoming very much popular in 2013 from 2000, sorry, 2023. So there is a lot of roles that will also say as gen AI engineer. Okay. So let's go ahead and see one of the job description. And I, for this, I have actually taken from a company that is a very big company like cloud era. Okay. So we will just try to see the job description with respect to this. And I think this was just posted two weeks ago. Other than this, you can also see this one, which is right now given over here with respect to this. We'll also see a couple of job description and then we'll try to decide. The reason why I'm taking this company because it is a bigger company, right? So every or uh, every person that is hired will have a specific roles and responsibilities. There will not be much overlapping. If you probably see startup, a startup wants every 
every skill sets in a person right he should be able to do this she should be able to do this something like that okay now let's go ahead and understand about this job description now please focus on the job description and with the help of this job description you will be able to understand a lot many things now first of all you can see over here help design build and deliver a platform that not only accelerates machine learning and ai from exploration to production but also enables enterprises to create and deploy generative ai application using foundation model with enterprise data at scale if i say guys from if i go back somewhere before to 2023 when gen ai was not that famous then you could actually remove this last part okay but now since generative ai is also becoming popular so that has also been included okay but here you need to understand design build and deliver a platform that not only accelerates machine learning and ai see now let's talk about data scientist okay what is the role of a data scientist i hope everybody remembers the life cycle of a data scientist from data ingestion to data transformation to probably feature engineering to doing model training model evaluation then deployment then model monitoring so this is the entire life cycle what a data scientist do but what once exactly when the model is created we just don't have to keep the model like that right we really need to deploy that model in some cloud please listen to this very carefully okay once a data scientist probably completes the entire life cycle of a data science project its final task is that you are able to give a model which is a kind of state of art model it can be a good model or it can be a model that is trained completely from scratch by the data that it has probably collected okay once the model has been created understand this then the deployment part is a another task now we always need to make sure that whenever the deployment actually happens okay see whenever the deployment specifically happens we need to make sure that that model is accessible in a scale right today i hit one request or i hit million million request right that model should be able to provide you the response okay and that is where a machine learning engineer is required please understand these roles and responsibilities then you'll be able to understand where does ai engineer fit <clears throat> so what will happen with the help of ml engineer <clears throat> by creating amazing ci cd pipelines making sure that the deployment is done in such a way that it will be completely scalable that any number of request that you specifically give on that specific model you should be able to get the response now comes the next option after you deploy the model that model will be used somewhere right it needs to be integrated in various platform it can be a mobile platform can be a edge device it can be a web web application it can be a desktop application right so various other platforms because at the end of the day what is netflix netflix before if i go right when ai was not let's say when a, let's say for the first time when netflix was created it was a simple movie streaming platform now movie streaming platform is completely developed by a software engineer understand this thing okay so movie streaming platform the main thing is that movies will be available in some kind of let's say if i take an example of aws in s3 bucket all the files will be uploaded it will be streaming from there and then it will show you the movie right but what is the additional thing netflix did to provide an amazing experience to the end user hey we should implement recommendation system now if i probably consider the entire life cycle of a recommendation system how it is created the first step data scientist will be involved they'll be having the data through data ingestion it will do they'll perform feature engineering data transformation model training everything is ready once they create the model now the model is ready <clears throat> model is performing well it is having a very good accuracy right that accuracy part is there now now that model is basically selected now when this model is further done, done uh, deployed in some cloud because it has to be deployed because it needs to be integrated <clears throat> with the mobile app of netflix okay now how the integration will be working unless until we don't deploy that model over there where in the cloud once it is deployed in the cloud that task will completely be done by the machine learning engineer and now it will also take care of the scalability part their docker needs to be used kubernetes needs to be used whatever technology is basically used to make it scalable that will be used right in multiple server parallel server it will always make sure that if one server goes down it should be able to have a different backup over here so that it will be able to continuously give you the response right so that part is already done by the machine learning engineer 
Now comes the next important part. How we are going to integrate those deployed model with the Netflix app, right? And that is where more additional work is required. And that is where AI engineers will be required. Okay, I'm not going with respect to generative AI right now. I'll also tell where generative AI will be used, okay? So let's say once a model is basically deployed, API is created, it is integrated with the application. That is perfect. But where does an AI engineer work now? So that part can also be done by an ML engineer. So that is the reason in most of the job requirements, you will be seeing AI or ML engineer. <coughs> so that integration part is done, but still there is one part that is retraining of your model, right? And retraining of your model requires fine tuning of that particular model with the new data, right? Whenever a new data probably comes, you need to fine tune that specific data also. Right. So what will happen in this particular case? Let's say fortnight. Most of the companies does it fortnight or weekly. Retraining will basically happen. New data will keep on generating. <clears throat> now the AI engineer should also be responsible in creating those pipelines that how that entire retraining will also happen for the model that is already created and how that model will be able to serve or get integrated or updated with that particular mobile app. It, it involves versioning. It involves monitoring many more things as such. Right. See, if I consider AI and ML engineers, both roles overlap. Uh, ML engineers should also be able to do the AI engineer work. When we talk about engineers, understand this, engineers, software engineers, ML engineers, um, AI engineers, these are, are responsible in building that end product, okay? And when we say about this end product, if I, if I include AI in between, right? So it has to be something with respect to the AI module where Fine tuning, retraining should also happen with that specific model and get integrated with the end product that is your mobile app. So that at the end of the day, it gives an amazing experience to the end user. I'm trying to make this video a very much easy without drawing any diagrams. And I'm just seeing the roles and responsibilities that is available over here. Just by seeing the first part, here you're just not working on machine learning algorithms but here you are making sure that you integrate every of these modules with the software product that you have actually created right and this is what is a simple explanation about what an ai engineer specifically do okay let's go ahead and see other things now if i talk about generative ai see generative ai is what right i hope you have seen my playlist and all I've, I've also explained with respect to fine tuning. What is pre-training, right? What is pre-training? You have a foundation model that is already pre-trained with a huge amount of data. And that foundation model will able to probably perform all the generic tasks that you really want. But if I really want a specific task, I need to fine tune that pre-trained model. That pre-trained model is also called as foundation model. Now what is happening over here? Obviously, a data scientist will not be required because you don't have to probably create a model from the scratch. If you really want to use the foundation model, already this giant companies like Facebook, they are also coming up with open source, Google, OpenAI, these models have already been created, right? They are providing you in the ways how you can use it in the form of APIs, open source models. Obviously, you need to make take care of the deployment part. That is where ML engineers will be required. But if I directly use all this from OpenAI or Google, I'll be able to get an API where they will handle the load. We don't have to even take care of the load. But if I consider with respect to AI engineer, that integration, that seamless integration from that specific API to the software product is again required as an AI uh, required by the AI engineer itself. How that integration will happen seamlessly. Not only that, fine tuning of that foundation model will basically also happen. There are so many different, different LLM models, right? And if I say over here, machine learning engineers and AI engineers, again, there will be an overlapping of this kind of work, right? So this is what with respect to generative AI is also done. So yeah, here also you can see design code, implement elegant, scalable, enterprise quality, AI application services powered by machine learning models, right? <clears throat> so other than that, whatever task is there like RAG, see RAG is also kind of a module, right? In my application, I want to implement RAG. RAG is something what is implemented with vector databases separately. That interaction will basically happen and automatically it will be integrated with the application. Experience with generative AI framework, as I said, Langchain I have already started, right? Just understand the importance. See, I can understand what is happening right now in, in the AI field. And that is the reason why I make that kind of that kind of videos. How many different videos I've created with respect to RAG using vector databases such as Pinecone, 
I've used different, different vector based database, even Cassandra DB also I've used, right? At the end of the day, guys, building, deploying generative AI application, building scalable, robust, see, at the scalability, scalability, you need to create that product that has been integrated with AI modules and it should be integrated and should be able to perform in a scalable way. That is the overall main intention behind working with respect to AI engineers. I'll give you one example when I used to work with, okay, one more thing uh, before I go ahead uh, with this. First of all, we'll go with these three points and then I'll give my example what I used to do in Panasonic, okay? So experience with AI ML orchestration and serving software such as Kubeflow, KSurf, Knative, VLLM, NVIDIA, Triton. So this is with respect to inferencing, how inferencing easily you can basically do and obviously it will require some experience with respect to cloud technologies like AWS, Azure <coughs> or Google Cloud. Now let me talk about an example, what I used to do, but I hope with the help of this roles and responsibilities, you got a clear idea about it. In Panasonic, I was hired as a data scientist, but I was working as an AI engineer. Why? Because I was working with the IoT team. I was working with the cloud team and I was also working with the other team that is responsible like mobile development and all, right? We were implementing solutions with respect to Alexa, right? We are creating models parallelly that can be used in IoT devices. Okay. One example I'll take. Okay. So there, I hope everybody has ACs in the house, right? AC, right? Air conditioner. We needed to really make it smart. Now AC involves IoT team, cloud team. It involves data engineering team. It involves mobile team, mobile app also, mobile app team. So many different, different teams were there. And we were training a model from scratch. At that point of time, LLM models were not there. And that use case also will not be able to solve with the help of LLM models. And the best thing was that, that entire model I created completely from scratch because the business use case was completely different. Now, once I created that model, initially I worked as a data scientist. Then I have to make sure that the deployment part needs to also be taken. As I said, guys, in Indian, most of the Indian startups, a single person you really need to do most of the task, okay? Now I took that specific model, did the deployment in AWS, right? In a scalable mode. And then we created an APIs, right? The integration with respect to that, with, with the mobile app, web app, all the integration was basically done. Alexa, all the integration was done. So here I also acted as an ML engineer and AI engineers. And then parallelly, we also fine tuned those models with the new data that was probably coming with respect to the usage, how the people were basically using, right? We, based on the usage, we used to give recommendation how you need to really run the AC to reduce the electricity. That was the main use case that we were solving. So here, as a data scientist, as an ML engineer, as an AI engineer, we really had to do all this kind of task. And obviously, we need to probably have a lot of discussion with IoT team, big data engineering team, this team, that team, right? And that is why I'll tell you that the roadmap of AI engineers, which I will create in the next video, will help you understand what exactly we used to do, right? So I hope you like this particular video. Uh, if you really want the roadmap video to come very early, please do hit like and share with all your friends. Uh, we'll keep the comment target to 500, okay? So yes, this was it for my side. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Take care. Bye-bye.